So is living in Texas really a whole lot better? Are the taxes really lower? Is it really this financial mecca of opportunity? Yeah, in a lot of ways it really is. You know, if you're living in New York or California right now and you're paying a state income tax of six to 12 percent and you're paying tons of local taxes and luxury taxes and soda taxes and all these crazy things then you're looking at texas as this shining city on a hill of opportunity but some would say what about those property taxes in texas i hear it all the time as we help people move here from new york and california and the midwest and all other parts of the country what's up with these property taxes they are so high well again that's a relative comparison. So in Texas, in your major metropolitan areas, you're probably going to see property taxes kind of 2 to 2.8%, 2.3 to 2.8%, right? Of your property value annually. Now there's some exemptions to that, but we have no state income tax and our property values are noticeably significantly lower than almost anywhere in New York or California or some of these other high tax states that people are escaping to get to Texas. Now, when you think about the big picture, you know, if you're getting taxed, you know, six to 12% on a healthy income in one of those states, plus you do have some local property taxes. And, um, you know, when you think about salt state and local taxes, there's a lot packed in there. They're different in different states. So we won't go line by line here, but um, you got all sorts of local municipal, county, school, regional, hospital, all sorts of local taxes, right? So if you're in an area where, you know, you're seeing a massive chunk of your income go to state and local taxes, really the, the primary deal you're going to see here in Texas is that local property tax, which is uh, the, the county, the school district, and a couple other small items. So relative to the total taxing burden, it's significantly lower. Plus, it's being taxed on a property that has a significantly lower value. So there's almost double benefit there in addition to the fact that Texas is a broad and diverse economy with more opportunity than a lot of those other places. Now, I'm not only speaking about California and New York. Of course, we have people moving here from all over the country. And there are also tax incentives, especially in and around entrepreneurship and business. We've seen many large corporations move their corporate headquarters here because of the incentives to the company, but also to the lower cost of living in a lot of ways, a higher rated living experience, whether that be outdoor entertainment, you know, um, you know, fog, smog, you know, negative environmental impacts, you know, crime rates, access to healthcare, travel, education, all sorts of things, right? So we've got dozens, if not hundreds of other videos on the channel talking about why you might want to make a move to Texas. And I've got nothing negative to say about any other one state individually, although to speak to the point about taxes, to speak to the point about is Texas a financial opportunity area? The answer is definitively yes. Your opinion and your desire on those other items is certainly up to you. We've seen major, you know, some of the wealthiest people in the world have moved to Texas from states like California, Washington, New York, New Jersey, because of the financial benefits. So depending on where you fall on that spectrum of, of caring about taxes and financial burdens or financial opportunities, we'd love to have you here in Texas either way. If we could ever help you make a decision about a move to the area, click one of the links or call the phone number below, or you can always find us online at overunderagent.com. That's overunderagent.com. We'd love to chat with you, see how we can add some value to you in your life as you make a move to the Dallas-Fort Worth area or really anywhere in the great state of Texas. I'll talk to you soon.